Hello. So, this question is about finding all eigenvalues of a matrix where matrix is given a 6 by 6 matrix with all diagonal elements as 1001 and non diagonal elements as values or elements as 111. So, do you know how to calculate the eigenvalues for such numericals where all diagonal elements are same elements and all non diagonal elements are also same elements of different values? So, for this particular case, we know that the eigenvalues of A, say we are denoted by lambda, are 1000 value is repeated 5 times and 6th eigenvalue of this is exactly 1006. So 1006 is the unique eigenvalue and 1000 is an eigenvalue which is repeated 5 times that means its algebraic multiplicity is 5 and the algebraic multiplicity of this is 1. So how do we know that this matrix A will have these as the eigenvalues? Okay. So the formula for such question is very straightforward. Okay. If you know that each diagonal element is A, okay, so matrix is of the form where diagonal elements are same numbers A, so on. And each non-diagonal element is say some value b. Okay, so everywhere you have b. Okay. Then eigenvalues for such a numerical are a minus b. This eigenvalue is repeated. n minus 1 times if you are working with a n by n matrix okay. so for example in this we are working with 6 by 6 matrix so our uh, eigenvalue will be repeated 5 times okay 6 minus 1 but how much is the value is a minus b the diagonal element minus the non diagonal element okay so 1001 minus 1 so 1000 value is repeated exactly 5 times okay. and the remaining one eigenvalue okay so there are total n eigenvalues for this so n minus 1 times this value is repeated and the remaining one eigenvalue is n minus 1 times b plus a okay. this okay it is okay with algebraic multiplicity one okay okay that means it is this value is only one times okay so in this case if you are working with six b is one so you clearly get five times one which is five plus a which is 1001 so you get this value 1006 okay. so it is so simple to calculate the eigenvalues for this kind of numericals and they are very tricky in the sense that you can solve in them in few minutes even if you have a matrix which is very very large in size say for example if I say that there is a matrix C where the elements are 121 this value is 3 3 oops. then there's another 3 3 3 3 and 3 then you have 3 121 
3 3 everywhere and this is repeated to make all diagonal elements as 121 and known diagonal elements as exactly three value such that it is a square matrix of clearly I am converting it into a square matrix of size 8 by 8 so as soon as I will write the complete matrix I guess you can easily tell me that what are the eigenvalues for this matrix A. Okay. So eigenvalues for A. Okay. So immediately you know that each diagonal is 121. Okay. So you have A value 121. You have known diagonal element values as 3. So clearly 118 which is the difference of these two is a eigenvalue and it is repeated n minus 1 times means 7 times and then there is the eigenvalue which is uh, calculated as n minus 1 times b plus a so clearly you have 8 minus 1 7 3 is 21 plus 121 which is 142 okay, which is a single eigenvalue and uh, clearly you can check that this holds true that these are the eigenvalues you can easily check that one property that sum of all eigenvalues okay, i from 1 to 8 in this case is equal to trace of matrix so you can calculate what is the value of 118 times 7 plus 142 and you will find that this value is exactly 8 times 121. Okay. So trace of A is clearly 8 times 121. Okay. So you can easily calculate this okay. and you will find that 7 times 118 plus 142 the sum of eigenvalues is also the same number so this is a very simple way to calculate all the eigenvalues particularly when when all the diagonal elements are same number okay and all the known diagonal elements are also same number. Okay. Uh, we will continue with uh, having more such type of questions okay, soon.